Hello. This is another tutorial using Excel. This time it's going to be working with the matrices. And here I have a number of matrices here for you. Matrix A is a 3x3 three three matrix. Three rows and three columns. Matrix B is a 3 by 4 matrix vector C a row vector 1 by 3 vector D a column vector 4 by 1 a number of operations that we want to do the first one is finding a product of a matrix and here we are going to find the product of the matrix A by 3 by B. Notice that we need to have the number of columns of A equal to the number of rows of B. Also, the final result would be a matrix 3 by 4. To calculate the resulting matrix, we are going to block the number of cells required for the actual size of the resulting matrix. Then we are going to use a function. One of the functions for the matrix manipulation is and mult, which is going to create a matrix multiplication. As you click on that function, a drop down menu will give you the option of just copying that. In here, the first array is going to be matrix A. We are going to select that. The second array for us is going to be matrix B. E. We are going to select that too. We're closing the parentheses. Now, instead of pressing Enter, which will do the calculation only for one cell, we are going to be using control, shift, and enter all together at the same time. Now you notice that the resulting matrix is printed at the block that we have identified. Now let's do another one. This time we are going to multiply matrix B by the column vector Z. Matrix B is a 3 by 4 matrix. Vector D is a 4 by 1. So the resulting vector will be 3 by 1 vector. Again, same type of calculations. You notice that the resulting vector is a 3 by 1 vector. Now we are going to do C times A. C is a row vector, 1 by 3. And A is a 3 by 3 matrix. Again, the same type of calculation and work that we are going to be doing in here. We are going to use this exactly the same ideas. Using the M mult, identifying the matrices and vectors that are going to be multiplied by each other and using a control shift enter to do the calculation. I've had a 
notice the, the size of the resulting matrix. We are going to multiply D by C. D is a 4 by 1 column vector. C is a 1 by 3 row vector. The resulting work will end up to be a 4 by 3 matrix. Again, the same process. We are going to use a multi identifying the arrays array 1 and array 2 as vectors D and vector C and then pressing control shift and enter. We're going to demonstrate another operation with the matrices in here, and this time we are going to calculate the inverse of a matrix. We're going to calculate the inverse of the matrix A. Matrix A is a square matrix, 3 by 3, so it would perfectly make sense to find the uh, square of a matrix because uh, the, it to do the square of a matrix, it has to be, to, to do a square of a, uh, to do a inverse of a matrix, it has to be in a square matrix. This time, it's going to be a 3 by 3 again matrix. This time, the function that we are going to be using is a function called M inverse. And again at the same place we will find the function M inverse and as you put it in there it's asking you for a matrix to be inverted and you identify matrix A, close the parenthesis and again press Control Shift Enter together. And here you get the result of the matrix operation. And this is a 3x3 three three matrix. That's it.